Hello again. So I'm going to be doing a first impressions on this new concealer that just came out. I will talk about it more in a second once we zoom in. Um, but this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. I bought three shades because I'm really bad at color matching. <laughs> I normally like to do a 12 hour wear test, but it is already 12 o'clock, so it might be like an 8 hour wear test. We'll see what happens. But before we start this video, if you are new here, you should definitely join this, like, what, what are we going to call it? The Lily Vanilli family. So, um, yeah, if you want to keep up to date on videos and also my Instagram, which I will probably put somewhere over here or maybe at the end of the video I think I'll be doing. Um, so, yes, just follow up with me and my creations, I guess. <laughs> we're going to do this review. This new concealer by Makeup Revolution, their Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer and Contour, it's been compared to Tarte's Shape Tape, and so it's kind of like a dupe, I guess. well, I'm hoping it's a dupe, um, because just right off the bat, this is $27 currently, I think it's $27, and this one was 7 so just leaving that there. The claims on this concealer We'll see if I can find them. I don't see claims, guys. I can't find... Like, all it says on the Ulta website is only at Ulta. Helpful to know. Here we go. I found their website. Sorry, guys. So, this concealer is for everyone. 18 shades. That's a decent shade range. I'm going to put up, like, right here. You can look at the shades because it's really good i mean 18 and i from what i remember i'm not looking at it now but from what i remember it had a pretty decent shade range it wasn't like it wasn't like some recent releases that's all i'm gonna say lightweight yet full coverage concealer to cover blemishes even skin tone counteract dark circles with a matte finish that won't settle or accentuate fine lines and pores long wearing intense pigment that can also be used to contour and add definition large doe foot oh it's so it's large oh that's probably why people are comparing it to this too because if it has um i'm assuming that if it says large it's going to be large like the shape tape one um smooth application won't drag under delicate skin of your eyes okay so that's pretty big claims to be honest but i don't know i might i might do it so let's see Lightweight yet full coverage concealer to cover blemishes, even skin tone, counteract dark circles, with a matte finish that won't settle or accentuate fine lines and pores. Long wearing intense pigment that can also be used to contour and add definition. Large doe foot. Oh, it's, so it's large. Oh, that's probably why people are comparing it to this too, because if it has, um, I'm assuming that if it says large, it's going to be large like the Shape Tape one. Um, Smooth application, won't drag under delicate skin of your eyes. Okay, so that's pretty big claims to be honest, but I don't know, I might, I might do it, so. Let's see. I picked up the shades C6, C8, and C10 because sometimes I'm light and sometimes I'm medium and sometimes I'm light medium. Um, C6, it says light medium skin tones with yellow undertone, 6-8. Medium skin tone with yellow undertones, and C10 was medium skin tone with golden undertones. So I wasn't really sure what the difference with that would be, but we're going to swatch and see. Okay, so here's C6. Let's see. Ooh, that's big. Okay, so here are the three. Like, this is a normal one, which is pretty small, and then the shape tape. I can't move that, but you can see. I don't think I like the applicator quite as much as I like the the Tarte one. So there's C6. It's a little pinker than I'm enjoying, but it's not it's not like bad or anything. I just like, you know, I like to carve my eyebrows out with concealer and I really like this <laughs> so far. I don't know how to explain it. But it feels better than shape tape? I don't know. It just, this is nice. That's it. That's all I've got for now. I will be back. So, my eyes are on. Now we're gonna actually, I'm excited about this concealer. I was, I am really faithful to Tarte's shape tape. It just doesn't create, it just does everything my concealers should do. So, that's kind of high standards. But, I mean, if this thing can come close at $7, then 
then I'm sold. <laughs> right now my skin is really acting up. Um, not really acting up, but it's... I'm in the middle of the semester, so it always flares up. Um, and I ha definitely have some active bumps right now, so we're gonna see how well this covers those up. Normally I do green color correcting and everything, but I wanna see how well this works. I put on primer because, well, same with my foundations too, but I put it on because I'm never gonna be walking around without concealer, without primer. So why would I test it without it, you know? I don't know if that makes sense, but. I take concealer and I spot conceal before I put on foundation. Um, I know that's not maybe everyone's method, but I do that because that way I don't have to keep adding on layers of foundation. And sometimes my concealers just aren't the color of my foundation. And it's like, okay, I think this is a color match, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I told you I'm really bad at that. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, sometimes this just doesn't match exactly the foundation I'm going to use. And I'm like, then it looks weird and you can see the concealer. And I'd prefer to just not have to deal with that. Um, with these two, with like this first layer, I don't use my Beauty Blender because I want to get like the most coverage and I feel like my finger blends it out enough that that I don't need to use a Beauty Blender, but I mean, do you. It's full enough coverage that it spreads and it's doing a decent job at covering up my, my scars. Covering up the redness too around my nose. Although I don't have a very red nose or very dark under eyes, so that's usually not what I'm looking for in a concealer. Um, and I'm really not the best to ask because I don't know. I don't I don't deal with that problem. But hyperpigmentation is definitely my problem. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me, the matte, the matte one, matte and portless, that's what it's called. Um, in the shade 128. I don't know if this is my shade, we're about to find out. Um, I've used it before, but I used it in the shade 322. I know that's a jump, but I, at the time I bought this because I was on vacation in Puerto Rico and I went from like this shade to like this shade, which is a, a pretty substantial jump. So I, I had never bought this before. This is the first time I tried it. So we're going to try this out, see how it works. Um, hopefully it matches. Okay, yeah, look, I want another pump. That's just how I am. I know. Oh god, that was a lot. Ah. Okay. And by the way, I know I put that extra pump, so you're like, oh, the concealer's not doing its job, but I, I do that with shape tape too, so it's just... Um, if I had to still put like three or four pumps on my face, then I would be concerned that this concealer was not doing its job. Okay, so we're going to take the shade C6 now in the in the new concealer and just, uh, I don't know, apply liberally. I don't really know what's a lot yet. Well, that was probably too much, actually. But... And then I like to highlight, too, in a couple places. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, this isn't like the most yellow. I'm probably gonna compare it to another concealer I have. This is not the most yellow foundation I've had. I would probably, I mean, concealer. I would like it, I think, with a little bit more golden undertone, but it's not like pink by any means. So we can work with this. My chin is acting up all kinds of ways. Although the concealer is doing a pretty decent job at it. I just, I feel like I would like a little more, a little coverage on this. I'm, I feel like just trying it like off the bat, I'm not quite getting shape tape from this. But I mean, it's better than a lot of other concealers that I've tried, so. Yeah, we'll see. See how it does under the eyes. Mm, it's doing a weird thing. It's doing a weird thing there. The weird thing went away. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about this. Let me try this eye. This eye is nice. It didn't do anything. Okay. It's 
it's just a little weird. Oh, I got concealer on my contact. Oh, guys, great. Now I'm going to see that all day. Ugh, oh well. Let me just add a little bit here because I feel like I kind of... I need a little more coverage. Yeah, that's kind of... I feel like I'm not quite getting as much coverage as I want. But it's not... It's definitely full coverage. I'm just kind of a coverage Nazi. Oh, I didn't mention, but I'm setting with the Laura Mercier loose setting powder. So far, I feel like I'm not blown away. Like, I want it to be like, this is a dupe! But I'm I'm only feeling like, like, this is a good concealer. Like, I would wear this concealer. Is it replacing shape tape? I don't know yet. I'm, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, it, see, it's doing, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's doing, like, this weird little thing there. Not on this side, just this one. I'm not sure. But, um, you know what, let me just, I'm just going to mess with it a tiny bit and then ruin my face. But let me just put like a little bit more on there and see if maybe it just, I just didn't blend it out right or something. I'm not 100% sure how this is looking on camera for you guys. Oh, I was out of focus. Okay. But... I just gotta think about it. I gotta, I gotta let it sit on my face for a while. Just okay. So first impressions, first thoughts, like my, my ideas on this. Um, as for like the color, it's I liked both C six and C eight for their respective uses. Um, coverage, medium to full. If I'm setting shape tape as the standard for what full coverage is, then I'm gonna go with medium full. I will say that like I have a couple spots that are still coming through. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and and yes. I have thoughts. Mixed emotions here. Let's just start off with color. I think the color is great. It's not quite as yellow as I like. Okay, I know it's newly swatched, but if you compare this one to the one from earlier, that one is just a little bit pinker, so this, I think, range, this, what do we call it, this line is a little, it runs a little bit pink, but it's not, this is not pink though, it is on the more yellow side, so I'm not upset about that. The coverage is good. If I was using Shape Tape as like the standard of what full coverage is, then I would say this is medium to full coverage. It's not quite getting all of these spots or little acne scars that I have. Um, I don't know if you can see them on, yeah, you can see them. It's, I just, you can still kind of see a little bit and I don't get that with Shape Tape, so... Um, but it's not bad. What I, what is bad is right here. I'm gonna zoom you guys in to my under eye. So I don't know if you guys can can see this here. Like crazy. I I I can't do it. It's 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 creasing so much. You can't even see. You can't even see. It's like. This, this side's fine. That's like my normal, like, but this one, I thought, I, I don't know what happened to this side of my face. This concealer happened to this side of my face. I'm kind of upset. Like over here, I mean, this is great, but like my under eye, that, I, that does not happen to me. I don't know. We're going to see how it wears throughout the day. And... I'm upset. I really wanted to like this concealer. Ugh. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, we'll see. I will be back tonight, probably around nine-ish, so we can do the full eight hours, maybe a little later if I actually stay up. I'm upset, I'm sad. I wanted to love this thing really quick before I go. So I just was looking, just a comparison, and um, this is 27, this is seven, but this one, only has 3.4 mils, which which is not like horrible or anything, but this one has 10 mils. So this has like triple what this has in it anyway. So what, seven times three, 21? $21 to $27? Looking at that 
perspective of it, this is not that much more expensive, kind of, if you, you know, if you think about it. Um, and just from how I'm feeling about it now, um, uh, offense, I'm still really faithful to this, so, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but we'll see what happens. Hey guys, I am back. So it is currently, sorry, 8.46. I don't know if you guys can see that. Go on. Boom. Disclaimer, I have been picking a lot of my face. Don't do that. That's really bad for your skin. Um, So I have like little like spots, okay, where it's like coming through. Not the concealer's fault. That's my fault. Um, What is the concealer's fault is, is this under eye right here. I haven't watched the old video either, so I really don't know what it looked like on camera. But let's just say it was so bad that, like, it literally came up off of itself. And I don't I don't know how to explain how, how badly it came off. And it was, like, creasing. But it wasn't just that it was creasing. It was, like, it was literally coming off. I don't know. And so I was going to walk around with it all day, but I couldn't. I had places to go. And I just was, like, it, it looks like there's nothing there. So I put on another layer and I, I blended it out. It wasn't like fabulous, but it was better. So it's, this makes me look like I have dry under eyes, guys. So everything I used else around my face was fine. What I used for my eyes is great. Did it crease? It hasn't, no, it hasn't creased up or anything around my eyes, which is why I find it very weird that it creased here, especially since I used the same primer. I'm not sure what happened. I'm gonna go with an inconclusive, leaning towards the not good side. Um, I'll definitely try them out again, but I'm not, yeah, I don't know, I'm not, like I, I'm really feeling like Shape Tape here is gonna stay my go-to and I'm really bummed because I was looking up some videos and there's like a lot of youtubers that I, like the only one that's coming to mind right now is Alyssa Ashley um that I watched a video and she was in love with it and I was like I trust this woman with my face so sure and then but no I don't like it <laughs> and I feel really bad because I want to but I don't know it just my face is just not looking at its prime right now so Anyway, that's that's it for the review. Um, but thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to say don't buy this concealer. I mean, you should definitely try it if you're interested in it, especially at the price point of $7. Um, but, but don't blame me if this happens to you. So, so yes, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around for another video. Hopefully I will be back soon. So I will be back again next time. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the concealer. If you guys have tried it, then let me know because I don't know. I just feel like everyone has had a wonderful experience with this concealer except for me. So, oh well, it's fine. Thank you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.